What's up guys, Nevs here with yet another review video and today we're gonna review the limited edition Diablo 4 Steel Series Aerox 5 Wireless. So let's see if this mouse is worth buying or if it's just a collector's item for Diablo fans out there. And while we're at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more review videos in the future. To begin, when you open a box, you are greeted with a mouse which comes with a 2 meter long mesh cable, a wireless USB receiver, a wireless extension adapter, and a card with a redeemable code for an exclusive in-game item for Diablo 4. Being a limited edition mouse, I love the extra details they added like the different classes on the side of the box and the welcome to hell text which really makes it feel like a collector's item. It weighs only 76 grams and it actually has a different cutout pattern from the regular era 5 just to suit the Diablo 4 team. Also, it features 9 programmable buttons where the side buttons are quite unique. You get the 2 regular side buttons which you see in most gaming mice today, a front side button and a very unique up and down flick switch. Additionally, I love the matte finish of this mouse, so for all the people that have oily hands like me and tend to leave smudges on your mouse, you're gonna love this. Moving on, the Erx5 has a USB-C port to charge it or you can also use it with the wire. At the back of the mouse, you have a switch where you can switch between the 2.4GHz connection or to Bluetooth. This is super handy as I work on my laptop a lot and just connect through Bluetooth and don't have to worry about bringing the wireless receiver. You get 80 hours of battery life on the standard 2.4 mode or 180 hours if you set it to Bluetooth. To conserve even more energy, the RGB lights turn off when you start moving the mouse which is a pretty cool feature. When I first tried this mouse, I instantly noticed that it was big. It's not too big but I could tell right away that it was bigger than my Logitech G Pro X Super Lite. However, it performed really well when I was trying it out and I didn't experience any form of delay or disconnection. And please guys, you're supposed to put the wireless receiver on the table, not at the back of your PC. Straight out of the box, the default RGB color for this limited edition mouse is red. However, you are able to change this in the SteelSeries GG software where you already have multiple presets and effects available. In the gear tab, you can customize the button configuration of the mouse, create your own macros, and there's even battery saver settings such as the sleep timer, high efficiency mode, and the illumination smart mode. The software even has its own mouse acceleration settings and another interesting feature is the angle snapping, which corrects your mouse movement and allows you to draw perfectly straight lines. I even saw some FPS players are using something similar to this just to keep their crosshairs at headshot level while tracking from left to right. For the pros of this mouse, the Erx5 wireless is pretty light for its size. It has Bluetooth connection which not a lot of gaming mice have nowadays and makes it perfect to bring it around for your work on your laptop. The illumination smart mode turns off the RGB lights when moving the mouse to conserve the battery life and the software not only gives you tons of configuration options but also has its own game capture and 3D aim trainer. It also features fast charging which gives you 4 hours of battery life in just 15 minutes. Lastly, let's not forget this is a limited edition mouse and you also get a free in-game item. And who doesn't love free stuff? As for the cons of this mouse, although the flick switch is very unique and something I haven't seen before, it feels very weird and unnatural. When I flick it up, I tend to press the other side buttons or lift the mouse which could mess up my aim while playing. While flicking down feels more of a pain in the ass having to move my whole thumb that far. Since this mouse is so big, I wouldn't recommend this to people with smaller hands as even for me it feels like on the edge of being too big already. Also the RGB lights feel simply underwhelming and although there's tons of customization and presets, you don't really get to see much of it as it's located only on the bottom of the mouse. Another con which I was surprised of was the battery life. Although it is advertised at 80 hours and I haven't fully tested yet, it seems like the battery life is draining super quick based on the battery percentage in the software, even if it's still in default mode. It makes up with its fast charging and all the battery saving options in the software though. Lastly, if you are new to the SteelSeries software, it easily can get overwhelming, as it has so many features and things you can customize. Honestly though, I think the game capture and aim trainer are very redundant and just bloat the software. And I would rather prefer using programs like Aim Labs and Video Game Capture or Overworld for these specific tasks. Overall wrapping up here, I think the term best suited for the Steel Series Aerox 5 Wireless is a jack of all trades, master of none. Yes, it does a lot of things good, but I guess there's a reason why you rarely see professional FPS players using a Steel Series mouse. Simply because there are better options out there on the market. And at $150, it is not exactly the cheapest mouse either. And you could already get a Logitech G Pro X Super Lite for $9 more, which is lighter, has better battery life, and which a lot of pros actually use. 
So who is the RX5 Wireless for? If you are not planning to go pro, I think it's a great mouse for general use and people who like to play MMORPG games because of the additional side buttons and for casual gamers who also like to bring it around with them for work due to its Bluetooth capabilities. And let's not forget, this is a special limited edition mouse of the RX5, so for all the Diablo fans out there, this would be a great item to add to your collection. So what do you think guys? Is the SteelSeries RX5 Wireless Diablo 4 Edition worth buying? Or is it just another collector's item? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more review videos, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!